All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. Today's video is going to be entitled, It's Almost That Time. All right, it's almost that time. Now, I got inspired to do this lesson just for the simple fact that there's a lot of things going on in the world right now, man. All right? This whole thing with the ISUPK just came out as far as the, the Palestinian woman that crashed her car into their school. And uh, according to what I've heard, um, one of the leaders from the ISUPK in, in that city, I believe they were in Indiana, he said that the woman had a bomb in her car. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, you know, if it was, hey, that's 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 messed up, you know. But at the same time, we understand that the Lord is stirring things up, man. All right, the Lord is making it happen to the point where He's getting His prophets off of the streets. All right, and this is why it's very important for anybody that that claims that they're in the truth to teach these scriptures correctly, man, 100%. The 100% truth, like the apostles teach us, all right? We gotta teach this truth correctly because it's getting down to the wire. Just like it says in Ezekiel, the third chapter, it says, give them warning from me, unless the blood is gonna be upon our hands, all right? So we gotta get to the point where we literally warn our people of the trouble that's, uh, that's ahead, man. Because the Lord is getting ready to bring great judgment. We can feel it in the air. You can feel the, 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 the vibration change. All right? It's shifting right before our eyes, man. And just like the scriptures say, the Most High is always sifting. He's always getting rid of people that he doesn't feel like needs to be a part of this. And he's always bringing new people in. So what we want to do is just continue to pray and make sure that he doesn't kick us out, man. All right? So... <clears throat> it's very important for us to do what's right. We got to make sure we give people warnings. And not, and not just the two-thirds, but, hey, even the ones that's, that's in this truth. We got to, you know, the scriptures say, open rebuke is better than uh, secret love. So we got to let, you know, these people know, like, look, man, if you keep leading your people astray like this, you can ultimately get them killed. All right? Especially when it comes to one of the most important prophecies, the MOTB, which is the RFID chip. If you get them to the point where they literally believe that Revelation 13 and 16 is not talking about the chip, when the time comes and they take it, not only are they going to die, but you will too. Because you're the one that told them this is not what this is. And that's a very, very scary and dangerous situation, man. That's not a game that you should be playing around with like that. Not even like that at all, all right? So it's buckle up time, man. It's really time to get in the spirit. Just like it says in uh, what Ephesians, the fifth chapter, we're redeeming the times because the days are evil. Just like we, I, man, those videos of um, what's going over there in Gaza, looking at these videos with uh the children getting bombed man the, the videos are very very graphic man very graphic all right it gets you to the point where you're like man that's hey the only thing you can think of is that's judgment from yeah how about showing y'all was shot any anything like that can happen to us too because you got to remember this is jacob's trouble that we coming into the scriptures tell you that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power we coming into the most horrific and scary time of existence, of human existence, man. All right? The most high is getting ready to unleash, unleash and let whatever it is necessary happen to his own people. He's getting ready to give, get rid of the majority of his own people by blood, by blood, man. Just for the simple fact that the majority of our people don't want to listen the majority of our people don't want to repent. And then there's a lot, there's a lot of proud Israelites out here, man. There's a lot of Israelites that don't want to humble themselves and they don't want to believe in the correct doctrine, man. 
So when, when shit hit the fan, then they realize they don't have that protection. They're gonna be thinking about, like I always say, all the decisions they ever made. They're gonna be thinking about everything they ever said, everything they ever did, and they're gonna wish that they humbled themselves. But like the scriptures say, the most High is merciful. If you call on the names of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, he might give you mercy. He might show you mercy, man. But that's up to the most High. So that's something that you don't know. So that's another reason to fear the Lord. All right? Because you don't know. All of us don't know if we're part of the elect or not. The scriptures, we don't know when the time is going to happen. We don't know we're going to make it or not. The only thing that we can do is pray. That's why the scriptures say we're prisoners of hope. Because we're hoping. <laughs> like they say in the word, I hope to God. You know, we're, we're hoping. We're praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're hoping that we're part of the elect, man. We don't, want, we don't want to perish down here. That's a shameful death to perish down here, man. To die with your enemy. To die with the people that came against you. To die with the people that scoffed and mocked. All right? We're not trying to perish down here, man. We, want to, we don't want to get caught in that fire. We don't want to get caught in the midst of the race riots, the civil war, you know, the animals being unleashed, the robots being unleashed in the streets. We don't want to be a part of that, man. We want that spiritual power, like the scriptures say. Mosai said he was going to have, uh, lift up a standard against the enemies. Spiritual power, man. We want to experience the miracles. So in order for us to get there, we got to make our calling and election sure. We got to do what's right by the Lord, man. All right? Because every single day, World War III is building up more and more. All of these countries are looking at Israel right now, and they're looking at them as the main enemy. Everything is falling into place, man. And so with that, you know, being said, like I always say, man, man up. Gird up your loins like a man. It's that time. And this is the time to not be afraid as well. We cannot be afraid of what's getting ready to happen. We already know what's getting ready to happen. Yeah, it's going to be very terrible. The most High is terrible. But at the same time, we got to have faith, man. When, these, when we start to see things right before our very eyes, we actually start to see our people gunned down in the street, or we actually see people getting locked up going crazy so forth and so on man we cannot become afraid we got to keep faith in you how about shim yahweh shy at all times man because this is it either you for the lord or you not with the lord man we got to be for the lord at all costs this is our main goal everything else that you got in your life do not matter the scriptures say whatever we, whatever we lose the most High is going to add it into us in, in the kingdom and that's what we fighting for. First and foremost, that spot on the chariot, all right? We wanna fight for that spot. And then after that, then the rewards come. But right now, man, we gotta man up, not be afraid, and get ready and for what's getting ready, uh, get ready for everything that's uh, about to happen, all right? So I'm gonna end it with that, man. It's gonna, you know, short video. Just wanted to bring out something real fast while I was on the go. But you know, it's been on my mind, man, because everybody is seeing it. Everybody is seeing the uh the earth changed man everybody is seeing this place crumble the more and more israelites that wake up the more and more, more of our people that wake up to this truth the closer we get to the destruction it's like it says in revelation the seventh chapter all right the closer we get the more uh devastating and horrible it's going to be so prepare yourselves man prepare yourselves for the battle gird up your your spirit man put on that breastplate of faith and keep praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm saying call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honors to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yashirala. Keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.